than I was. I couldn't really move consistently early in the season. You know, um, couldn't really get off the floor. You know, as I started to work more and more, you know, I'm getting in better shape. And uh, I mean, getting back to that, you know, how I know how to play a little bit, being aggressive. I made a good right hand drive today. I was really happy because I hadn't really been doing that throughout the season. So now that I, I'm seeing different things I can do now, so feeling good. So your confidence level is also up? My confidence level is always up. That's why I miss a lot of shots. <laughs> <laughs> that never goes anywhere. That's why I miss a lot. How good was your team D down the stretch here? Um, last, especially last two minutes. I thought it was good. I thought it was aggressive. I thought the refs let both teams play. Yeah. Uh, I thought they refed a good game today. I thought the refs like really try to call even. I think um, there was a few calls missed on both sides, and and it, I thought I thought it might have evened out. Um, and, I, and and at the end, I thought um, I thought we played really good defense. We made some good switches to Andrew. He's able to switch out on you know guards, which is big for us. You get more what juice metal? for the Celtics stuff. Personally, not really. I try to just play basketball, but then you know, people start talking, and I try to ignore it. But it's hard to ignore somebody who continues to talk. It's fun though, isn't it? The it's good. It, it's good. It's good. It's good. I mean, I, I wish we could just play a really good, hard game of basketball with, without too much controversy. You know, that would be fun. Just play real good basketball without much con confrontation, but you know, a lot of real passion. And competitiveness, that would be fun, but I guess with the Celtics, it's kind of hard to get away from that. So you say guys are talking, like what What are the things that are being talked about that's bothering you? I mean, nothing, nothing bothering. It's just, you know, you hear guys talking and really into the game. And, and is that competitive nature where, you know, you just got, everybody's trying to back up what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So today, everybody was trying to back up, you know, what they were, what they were saying. So it was, it was fun, you know. It was, it was fun. So how are you guys going to be better on the road? I think we are getting better. We started at 0-7, and um, since we started at 0-7, we've been playing better. So, but good, but good enough? Better. Yeah, we started at 0-7, and then, and then we started to win. So we beat, I think, Boston on the road, Dallas on the road. So we be alright. What sparked the incident with you and Paul where you guys got teed up? I can't remember. I can't remember. We were just playing basketball. It was so competitive. And I can't really remember. You got a sense feeding off of that though, just in terms of the energy. Uh, I, I was more, I was more locked in the game, you know. But I guess something, I guess we got tangled up. But at that point, you know, I wasn't that far removed from the game, so I wasn't really focused on like the anything that don't have anything to do with basketball. Right. If it has nothing to do with basketball. I can't really focus on it. Did you have any? Did you have any game seven flashbacks today? Not that I recall. It was more like in the moment here today. We just needed this, you know, we needed to come together as a family. We really needed to come together as a family. I think we did that today. So oh, last the question, the please, coach? guys, please. The atmosphere today? Hmm? The atmosphere of the, the stadium? The That's atmosphere good. was good. Uh, I thought uh, the fans, you know, they love when Celtics come here, you know, and there are some good Celtic fans here today. I've seen a lot of Celtic jerseys, so I think the atmosphere was nice.